so we are discussing about the PYQs of pharmacology so the, the question is that which is not a prokinetic agent what is a prokinetic agent prokinetic agent is a uh, those compounds that increase the gastric emptying by the coordinated propulsive motility so the dopamine antagonist uh, such as metoclopramide domperidone is acting as prokinetic agent no metoclopramide also has 5t4 agonist and some of the macrolides are also increase the gastric emptying and uh, act as a prokinetic agent so the diphenyl methane has no role in prokinetic um, properties so here the answer is diphenyl methane here the, uh, you can see the uh, reference as well uh, page number 663 to 665 you can read the prokinetic drugs so let's discuss about some of the points regarding prokinetic agents so let's discuss about the prokinetic drugs so prokinetic drugs uh, these are drugs which promote gastrointestinal transit and speed gastric emptying by enhancing coordinated propulsive motility means increasing the uh, motility and uh, reduce the time of gastric emptying one of the commonly used drug as a prokinetic agent is metoclopramide it is uh, introduced in the 1970s and also act as gastric hurry agent metoclopramide acts on GIT as well as TNS GIT and TNS effects effects on GIT uh, such as the increase in the gastric peristalsis relax the pylorus and first part of the duodenum and also the LES lower esophageal sphincter tone is increased due to that gastroesophageal reflex is inhibited so uh, by acting on these areas metoclopramide is working as prokinetic agent now let's discuss about the central nervous system effect of metoclopramide it acts effect as an effective antiemetic acting on ctz area and by acting on ctz area it blocks the apomorphine induced vomiting it also uh, gastro has gastrokinetic effect so it also contribute to antiemetic effect basically gastrokinetic effect of the metoclopramide is contributing to antiemetic effect then it has no chlorpromazine like antipsychotic property but so the extra pyramidal symptom and prolecting augmentic actions these actions uh, how it mediates we will discuss in su subsequently in the mechanism of action of the metoclopramide now let's talk about the mechanism of action of metoclopramide first one is the d2 antagonism by blocking the d2 receptors it increases the gastric emptying so what is the role of d2 receptors in git d2 receptor in git tends to delay gastric emptying it also causes gastric dilatation and alias relaxation attending nausea and vomiting by d2 antagonism metaclopramide increase the gastric emptying and also increases the lower esophageal sphincter tone by augmenting acetylcholine release 
CNS effect is due to D2 antagonism. The other mechanism is by phi 84 agonism. Metaclopromide acts in the GIT to enhance acetylcholine release from myenteric motor neurons. This results from phi 84 receptor activation on primary efferent neurons of the enteric nervous system, which in turn activates the excitatory interneurons. Meaning that by uh, acting on the phi 84 receptors, it will increase the acetylcholine release and then mediate the um, gastric emptying. Synergized by bethanecol and attenuated by atropine. Means if you block the cholinergic effects uh, with the atropine, the effect of metoclopramide will be reduced. And by uh, enhancing the cholinergic activity, you can enhance the metoclopramide effect. At high doses, um, metoclopramide also uh, antagonizes the 583 receptor. It enters the brain, crosses placenta, and also secreted in the milk. And by increasing the rate of gastric emptying, it uh, alters the rate of absorption of some drugs such as aspirin and etc. And also abolishes the effect of levodopa by blocking dopamine receptors, mainly in the basal ganglia. The side effects are uh, sedation, dizziness, loose tools and muscle dystonias are mainly seen in the children and the CNS side effects are Parkinsonism, Galactoria and Gynecomastia due to the D2 receptor antagonism. Dopamine has an inhibitory effect on prolactin release uh, by the tubero-infundibular pathway. So if you block the dopamine, the prolactin release will be increased and others uh, there is no other side effects known and no harmful no harmful effects during pregnancy its uses are used as an antiemetic gastrokinetic when emergency general anesthesia has to be given and patient has taken food less than 4 hours before meaning uh, you have to uh, while giving the anesthesia you have to empty the stomach. So to empty it, uh, metoclopramide is one of the choice. Then to relieve post vagotomy, then the dyspepsia. Uh, this drug also succeed in stopping persistent hiccups, and um, also used in GRD. But nowadays, a uh, proton pump inhibitor is uh, used. Another drug is the domperidone it is also a d2 receptor antagonist it is less efficacious than metoclopramide its prokinetic action is based only on d2 receptor blockage right um, no effect on uh, 584 or 583 receptor not attenuated by atropine because it has no role in acetylcholine release so if you give atropine or not its effect will be not be attenuated or differ crosses blood brain barrier poorly extra pyramidal symptoms are rare but hyperprolactinemia occur and antiemetic action is due to a ctz area a CTZ area is does, uh, does not uh, protected by the blood brain barrier, also called as circumventricular organs uh, or areas. There are many circumventricular areas also in the brain. Now, a few side effects are dry mouth, loose tools, headache, rashes, uh, galactory are generally, but generally mild. And uh, cardiac arrhythmias have developed on intravenous injection. So these are the two main drugs, uh, metoclopramide and domperidone, uh, which are used as uh, prokinetic agents.